I saw the moon beaming on brave manly forms With hope in heart gleaming I see them again In almighty dreaming Glory, oh, glory, oh To the bold Fenian man Good evening, good evening. It is day 280 of From Here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. <sighs> so, second day running. It's been snowing. And as you can see, there is no snow on the ground. So it's all mush because it's constantly around zero to one degrees. Today I wasn't feeling well again. I was okay. I drank, uh, I drank a lot of uh, apple juice with hot water just to give my stomach a bit of a rest and a bit of a break. Um, I think that uh, the certainty that I feel from time to time about the route uh, is really, you know, misplaced. I shouldn't be uh, I shouldn't be making any decisions right now because I think I'm still too I'm too tired. I think that uh, nine and a half months of the road have really worn me down, which is fine. You know, halfway, halfway. I'm over halfway. Uh, this morning I went like I want to go home. <laughs> I I just went like it is driving me. But that uh, you know uh, this root thing is driving me demented like uh, when I say this somebody will say like no don't do that when I say that the other one goes like no don't do that everybody is telling me that everything ahead is too dangerous Bulgaria is too dangerous Kosovo is too dangerous so I'm back literally back to where I was when I was planning my route to uh, to walk into Dublin. I know I shouldn't be listening to anybody, so that way I won't be driven nuts. I have been uh, setting out my route, slowly but surely. I'm working on it, it's gonna be okay, but the weather, I have to accept that I cannot change the weather. My own rule, another rule, I don't have many, but here you go, like, it's like quoting my dad constantly. I can't control the weather. So there's no point in getting angry about it. There's no point in being upset about it. The only thing I can do is just go with the flow. So, for now, until Monday, uh, I will be staying in the hostel. Uh, and then Mochi has offered uh, to come and see his house. Now it's a tiny bit back, it's in Zemun. And I might stay there until I move on. And then this evening I had a chat with, uh, with uh, my best friend in Amsterdam. And he said to me, listen, if... Uh, if I, uh, if I really want to take another week's rest, he will fly out to me and uh, he will come and rest with me. And I was saying like, what might be an option, what might actually be, if he can get the time off and he can come to, to this part of the world, we, maybe I could just rent an apartment for a week. There are some really nice places around here, uh, but not in the city. And we could just sleep like he, he is tired from work if he's willing to fly out and 
and keep me company and I think that would be really really good for me because it'll give me the opportunity to be with uh, somebody who who is familiar to me I think I've been pretty decisive up to now but uh, all this stuff that's been happening is making me jittery so if he can come and in that way this was the point in that way it'll give me time to uh, to sit uh, through the weather because this could be another 10 days 10 15 days February can be notoriously cold if I can take another week 10 days and rest with a good friend we could go you know who would have thought I end up you know sightseeing in Serbia and seeing stuff here rather than in another country I always thought it would be more like a, it would be more like Turkey or uh, another country like that but that's okay it, why not why not uh, and it would be really nice to have somebody familiar with me to do that with so yeah I think I think that's actually really good that would be really good for me this evening uh, Boji had organized uh, because I'm having pains in my body he organized a, a, a massage for me and I went to see this lady and she's working away on my legs and like, ah, the legs are kind of sore but they're okay and my arms fine my chest fine my head fine my neck fine and then she goes does this hurt and she presses down <laughs> on my shoulders and whoops like these muscles don't move at all I'm not really surprised because you know it's been nine and a half months of carrying over 20 kilos uh, but they shouldn't be unmovable like they were rock hard and she said I could do a week's worth a week worth of work on you uh, but of course like <laughs> it's a miracle I've gone for a massage because I don't do stuff like that ever uh, and she said you do need to stretch so why not take this as an opportunity to actually get that done and uh, look after myself do a bit of work on myself it would be good yeah it would be good so that was really nice and then we went to the street of hungry people in Zenum which is uh, I think I I've walked uh, a, par to, uh, a parallel to that street and uh, yeah we had a uh, chicken some kind of chicken kebab with cheese and bacon it was good in bread the flatbreads here are just stunning um, with his daughter Olga and he's kind of said well you know if you want to um, maybe think about resting a little bit further at his place so there's a lot to think about tomorrow I would like to maybe go see St. Sava and I'd like to maybe see another church or two I might go see the Franciscans finally like the Jaipers they've been I've been waiting to uh, get to see them for a while and uh, I've been putting it off so maybe this is the time to go and do that uh, I've sent an email to the uh, to uh, the Sultan's Trail people because of course we've been seeing their way markers for the for the for the bicycle trail and they have an app and I am considering taking that route but the app is 21 euros 99 not a review and I only want to do like 500 kilometers of that trail even even not more than a thousand kilometers the the bit through Bulgaria so I wrote them an email saying, this is who I am, that's what I've been doing, I've been seeing your way markers. I was thinking, you know, ah, when I saw them, I was on roads I shouldn't be walking on, but did I really want to cycle them? Where are the way markers for the walkers, which I guess are up high? Like, how do I find out more? Is there somebody I can talk to? And like, how many people have actually used this app successfully? Uh, I'm a pilgrim, money is money is money kind of thing. 
So we'll see, we'll see if they get back to me. Uh, if it's like Fjell Raven with the fireman uh, frame, they literally, they never even send me an email back. Uh, even after uh, I asked my friend in the media to uh, get in touch with their media department, they just don't answer anything. So, uh, you know, big, uh, big brands, they really are not interested in people like me. Uh, maybe, maybe I do understand. Be nice though, you know, they sent me an email saying like, a human will be in touch with you and never did. So that's kind of not true. Uh, yeah, what else? Ah, you see, this is it, like, I'm okay where I am right now. Uh, actual rest would be better than uh, what I'm going through now. I hope it's all gonna be worked out, like, that's what I'm hoping. That's really all my news for today. Um, we had our uh, chicken, chicken with cheese and thingy on the bread, uh, looking out uh, on the other side of the Saha, looking out uh, over the fortress. That was really nice as well. I really enjoyed it. And I really, really would like to go for uh, a drink now, I think. Um, and I think just, I know just the place. I think I'm gonna go across the road from where I'm staying. And uh, yeah, have a drink, maybe have another cup of soup. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, like I said, I never thought I'd get to know Belgrade this well. Um, a lot of people like this massage therapist, she was saying as well like, Oh, you know, the Serbs and the Irish, they've got lots in common, we're all Celts. Um, I haven't found a place to play yet. I've said to uh, Bochi that I will definitely play for him. It would be good, would be good for me. Uh, it would probably be really good for him as well. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Um, and uh, they were saying like, what can I show you? I don't know what to show you because you're just, you know, you've seen everything and which of course isn't true at all. Uh, so I will go and have a look at maybe is there stuff that uh, I would like to see that he can show me. I don't have any more news. Like I, I cannot express how grateful I am uh, to those of you who uh, are helping me uh, to do this. Um, I feel a little bit guilty that I'm stuck now, but on the other hand, like, I don't know, I, I think I've always kind of known that I would get stuck here. I, I remember talking about Belgrade and going like, well, you know, worst case scenario, get stuck in Belgrade. Now I'm stuck in Belgrade, you know. Watch out what you wish for. <laughs> um, okay. I just, I need to feel strong and I need to be certain that I can do this. I'm not going to put myself into any danger or do anything silly. Um, health comes first. So health comes first. Yeah. Let me go for that drink. I think that's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.